Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it's so nice to have you here. I would like you to stick around and if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends and family. In today's video, I will be showing how I decorated our new coffee bar and without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. So as you can see, I didn't have any designated coffee bar before. So I went to get this shelving unit from Ross. If you have a spare one at home, you can use that too. I also got this storage box and the shade goes pretty well with the shelving unit. And uh, it has a farmhouse kind of look, so that's perfect for my decor. I'm gonna keep my coffee filters, coffee stirrers and all kind of stuff in this box. Basically things that I don't want to show and I'm gonna cover them with a towel which I also bought from Ross. The lower shelf is all about hot chocolate and cookies. This little love sign is just right for this place. In the middle shelf, I kept a milk frother and coffee grinder machine, also a tea kettle which has a copper cover. It will give a little vintage look for sure. In the top shelf, I kept the coffee machine and all the essentials such as um, powder coffee, tea, uh, tea bag, sugar and all of the stuff that I use in regular basis. I used clear jar for storage and kept them in my silver tray. You must have a coffee sign in your coffee bar. So I googled some vintage signs and, and chose this particular one as it has a turquoise shade and that goes with my home decor. You should always select something which has a similar shade. I printed out, framed it in an old photo frame and attached some fairy lights with regular tape. These mirror tiles were already here and I did not like them for the space. So I took some chalk peel and stick wallpaper and covered it. It's not wide enough to cover the whole thing but it looks good. I wanted to have a similar light fixture like this one but I didn't want to hang over and clutter this place. So I got this plant bracket from Dollar Tree, attached it on the background and then went to buy a black thread from Walmart and then tied it from the bracket, if that makes sense. For the main part, I used an old plastic bowl I had took a drill and drilled a hole so that I can pass the thread through it. Paint it black on the outer surface and let it dry. Once that dried up, 
took a gold and copper paint, mixed them well and painted inside the bowl. And again, I will let it dry. Now I passed the thread through the hole and tied a knot so that it stays in place. Then took a remote controlled light and hot glued it. I chose the orange color. I forgot to mention I was inspired by this poster so much that I took a white chalk and doodled on my chalk wall and it came out amazing. Lighting is super important for the lower shelves, so I took another fairy light and placed under the shelves. Nothing fancy, just functional. They are all battery operated, so you can change whenever um, you feel like. So that was pretty much it. If you have any question or suggestion, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Again, if you find it useful, then please like, share and click the bell icon to stay connected. I love you guys so much. Hope you like this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Till then, stay well. Bye. Hi guys, you may also like these videos, so check it out.